Oh, you had you had an answer. You had you get you gave it a go there. Uh, it's yeah. not right. So let's let's review what the question is. So you want to have a function called is sublist. It takes in two arguments, uh, two lists, uh, the smaller list and the larger list, um, and it should return true if and only if the smaller list is a sublist of the larger list, right? Okay, I, I, it looks like you gave it a go on the, on the right hand side, right, in the browser. But before yeah. that, can, I, can you scroll down to the test cases? Okay, so the idea is that the first argument is smaller, the second argument is the larger sublist, right? Based on this? Yeah. Okay, right, okay. Uh, scroll up. So it's smaller first and then larger next. Uh, do you want to copy the, your code and then uh, paste it in idle and then we can uh, work on it over there. Let's take a look at the... Uh, you want to keep the same file? Okay, no, you, you don't want a new file. You are going to overwrite your old file. Mm, oh. So let's take a look at what you're doing. So uh, you take in the smaller list and then the larger list, and then you store the the length of the smaller list in Y. You store the length of the larger list in A, and then you have two variables X and Z. And actually, at this point, I don't know. At this point, I don't know the purpose of the variables X and Z. Um, and so that's a bit of a problem. Uh, for me, and it makes it hard for me to read your code. Can you explain perhaps what is the purpose of X and what is the purpose of Z? Um, the purpose of so it does not like overrun because like A is like the length of the larger list and Y is the length of the smaller list. Uh -huh. So like um, so like if I, I X and Z is like if like you already reach that end, then we all break. Okay, right. Okay. Uh huh. Okay, I understand. And what else does X and Z do? Is it is it's just to it's just to index where you are at as you go through the list, is it? As you go through the yes. I see. Okay. Um. So for me, I find it hard to read your code with the names Y A X and Z. It's just going to make it a bit harder for me to understand what is happening in the code. So can I ask that we uh, rename the variables so it's, hard, it's easier for me to read. So okay. let's rename x to be, uh, x is to store the index of the smaller or the larger list? Um, x is to store the larger name x to be uh, larger index or l index lg lg i idx let's rename that lg underscore or uh, yeah yeah okay so replace all instances of x with lg and one thing you can do actually okay uh, yeah you just copy you can copy the and paste um, the, you can copy and paste it, it will be faster perhaps. Mm. Mm. So there's, there's more uh, instances of X and Z down there, so can we, can we uh, update it? Wait, I'm a bit confused like which one is which. Oh, so Z is okay. So replace X first. Uh, all replace all the X to be LG index, the large index.
Okay. okay. Right. All right. So uh, it's uh, easier for me to, to read. Um, so you have a for loop for first for n in smaller. So that's going to go through every single element in the smaller list. All right. And what you do, you do a, a kind of sanity check. You just want to make sure you don't go beyond the end of the list. So you say if small index is equal to y, or if large index is equal to a, then you want to break. Um, else you'll continue. Uh, you actually don't need the else continue part. Because what happens is that when you have that continue keyword, uh, it's actually going to go like, exactly going to continue and we already know that it's going to continue if whether it's there or not there so we actually don't need the help uh, i mean the other part that i'm not sure is whether continue means that you will actually go on to the um so yeah we don't need that right okay just let's just have a, a, a space there so we know what's happening next can you can you insert a, a blank line after break okay good Right, so then what are you doing in this while statement? While the, while, what did you mean? Uh, did you mean, you actually don't need the, the, um, um, the command hash. Wait, you don't need. Yeah, you don't, you can have breaks in your code. You can have like spaces in your code and Python is happy. Oh, but, okay. Okay. So now this while statement is a, seems a bit off. On the left hand side, you are having a, the square bracket. But what are you indexing? Wait, do you intend to index a smaller list? Is it supposed to be while smaller, small index? Yeah. yeah so that, that's a bit wrong. Right? Like look two lines down. That's what you're supposed to look like, right? That's what it's supposed to look like, right? Or yeah. What well, actually? What are you trying to do here? Oh, it's supposed to be an if. Sorry. Yeah, but in the first place. That, that open bracket, small index, close bracket. What does what is that supposed to be? Is that supposed to be the value of the small index, or is it supposed to be the character of the smaller list that is indexed by small index? You know what I mean? Um, I mean, um, I'm not very sure. Like, what is that supposed to be on the left hand side? I didn't actually think about that. Wait. Because as it is, it's actually, it actually doesn't make sense. That's actually a kind of an error. Yes. Okay. Um, okay. Let's take a step back and let's just talk like, uh, you know, without going too deep into the code. I think I, I jumped um, into the code maybe a bit too. Early. Let's talk about how do you how do you solve this? What's the solving this problem? Um, you have to like find out if like. Wait, so I think you muted yourself. Oh, did I mute myself? Hello. Oh yeah, yeah here you know. I think that's um, Okay, so like in words, how 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 would we like figure out how to solve this? Uh, problem. You can see if like the smaller list is part of the bigger list. Yeah. Right. So then how would you break that down into uh, smaller steps? How do you check if the smaller list is within the bigger list? How will you check for that? Not sure. Okay. Um, uh, maybe let me let me share uh, hang on, uh, I'm going to share my whiteboard. Okay, right. So let me um, show you what I think we need to do. 
So you have a, a larger list, right? Which has these elements, right? And then you have a smaller list, which has, let's assume it's smaller, okay? Um, how do we check if the smaller list is a subset, is a sub list of the bigger list? What we will need to do, okay, is if I um, try to just unpack the problem, right? We want to check whether, in this case, is the the this do these four elements um, do these four elements are these four elements equal to one another? Okay, if they are equal to yeah. one another, then yes, it's a sublist. But if these are not equal to one another, then what you got to do is you got to check the next possibility. Right? You yeah. have, if this element equals, is, are these four elements equal to these four elements? Uh, if they are, then it's, you know, then it is a sublist, right? Otherwise, if it's not, then you got to check the next possibility. Wait, so one single variable can also be a sublist, right? One single variable can be a what? Sublist, like, let's say you have a list of like, one, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. um, if the smaller list is just the variable, I mean, the element one, can it be a sublist too? If the smaller list is just a single element, yeah, that can be a sublist. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. So then, so what happens is that, it, the algorithm will be, you'll be checking the first one, uh, true or false, if it's false, you check the next possibility. If it's false, you check the next possibility and you just keep doing that until the very last possibility, right? Yes. Okay. Now, if all the possibilities of the sublist, of the smaller sublist, uh, they, you can't find a match, then you will return a false, right? The smaller list is not a sublist of the larger sublist. But if one of these possibility is a match, right? Then you will return true. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, um, do you wanna? Can you share your screen again, and then we try to implement this algorithm. Okay, so what, that's what we want to do. We want to check all the possibilities of the smaller sublist within the uh, bigger list. Right? Yep. Yeah. So, uh, how do we do that? How do we check whether the um, a list is equal to the elements of the bigger list. Um, even before the, the false statement, right? After your flag is equal to false, even the false statement. Uh, how do you do a check, right? You need a for loop. Can, you wanna try that out, actually? Um, yeah. Let's, Wait, can I delete all this code? I don't know, we don't need to. I think we will just put it lower. Maybe it'll be useful later on. I'm not sure. Um, but below the flag is equal to false. Uh, yeah. Let's add a few spaces and then we will start. Uh, no, uh, the, the first flag is going to false. The one on line six. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. So let's, let's check the first possibility, which is when uh, we, we see whether the smaller list is, let's say the smaller list has four elements, whether the first four elements of the larger list is the same as the elements in the smaller list. Right? So, yeah. how will you do that? I'm not really sure. Okay, so, um, um, let's have a new variable. Uh, let's call it um, let's call it a small check index. And then
Okay. Um, we'll, well, let's say that, that that one is equal to zero, perhaps. Um, I'm, not, I'm, I'm also, I can't quite figure it out in my head, but that's okay. We're just going to try things out and then as we explore and try things out, I think the answer will come to us. Um, so, what I'm trying to do, what we want to do first is we want to check for the small sublist against the bigger list uh, where the small sublist is right up on the left hand side, right? It's all aligned. They are both aligned to the left. Um, okay, so let's say small check index equal to zero. Okay, so then we'll do a for n in for n. Oh, I think you can do. Okay, let's do. Uh, no, uh, below for flag. Okay, uh, how about this? A uh, below flag is called the boss. Yeah, do a for i in for i in range length of smaller. Okay, so the, the, you have a misspelling for the four. Okay, so what this does is that it's going to loop through every single element in the... Um, it's going to loop through 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and it's going to loop for as many elements there are in the smaller list, right? Okay, right. So, um, uh, We have to have a variable before that, a check variable before that. Uh, can you do before the four line, four line, can you do same is equal to false? We're gonna create a new variable called same. Same. Yeah, we, I'm just gonna call it same. Same equals to what? False. Yeah, the initial value is false. No, hang on. Sorry, we'll, we'll, the initial value is true. We'll make it true. We assume that it's true. Okay, right. So now inside the for loop, uh, you do a check if inside the for loop, yeah. If uh, if the first if the i-th element in the smaller list. So if uh, if smaller open square bracket i uh, close square bracket is smaller open square bracket i is equal to um, the larger smaller square bracket, uh, no, larger square bracket, I close square bracket. Okay. Right, so we're gonna compare element by element, the smaller list and the larger list. Um, then if it's equal, then we'll just, uh, you know, we are fine, we'll continue. So, okay, so then if it's not equal, not uh, change that equality sign to not equal. If smaller i is not equal to larger i, then uh, yeah, then same is equal to false. And actually, you can break from the loop. You don't need to check anywhere, anyone else, right? Yeah. You can just put a break after that. So we can break from the for loop. The next line can be a break statement. Right, okay. So, so this four lines is just checking for the, let me share my screen. Uh, it's checking for this case, right? It's checking uh, this element with this element, this element with this element, this element with this element, 
Okay, this element with this element. Okay, and at the end of the for loop, if the same variable is true, that means that we have found an answer, right? But if the same element is false, that means that, aha, uh -huh, not correct. What we need to do is we need to check the next possibility, which is this possibility. Yes. Right? Okay. Right. So uh, can you share your screen again? Okay. So let's check the next possibility. What would the next possibility would be where we are, sh we are checking the, 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 the i is not the same for smaller and larger. The larger side is offset by one, right? And then it will be offset by two and then offset by three. So for your, for your, um, for your smaller i not equal to larger i, it will now be equal, you now modify that to larger i plus SM check index. Larger i plus SM check index. Yep. Okay, right. So after this for loop, you want to increment the value of SM check index to be SM check index plus equal to one, because that's where we are going to. After the break statement, yeah, then go out, go out, uh, no, well, one, one, yeah, over here, yes, right, after the poly, yes, SM checks index is go to SM check index plus one. So the SM check index plus equals to one is not part of the for loop. It's not part of the for loop, right? Okay. It's actually part of uh, the, uh, a bigger for loop. Of, of another for loop above this. Uh, let's see, uh, let me see. Uh. So if same is going to false, you break. Uh, if, okay. Uh, before SM check index is equal to plus one, let's do a check whether we found a, a match or not. So before this, you do an if statement. After the break statement, uh, do a if statement. It's also after the for loop. If same is equal to two, okay, we found an answer, then we will return true. Just return true. Okay, and straight away return true. Okay, great. Um, can I just check, are you following along with what's happening? Yeah. Or lost? I'm following. Hmm? I'm following. You're following? Okay. Right. So what happened is that we are still just checking the very first case. We haven't checked the other cases. So now all these lines of code from one, two, three, four, five, uh, uh, I think from four, five, six, seven, seven lines before the four I in range length or smaller. Yeah, these seven lines of code, you need to indent them inwards by one. These seven lines. Indent by one time. Okay, and so there needs to be a, a for loop before, uh, there needs to be a for loop that encapsulates these for loops. So there'll be a for, let's say for, for A, A, A. For what? For Let's call it variable J. In, um, hmm, okay. Uh, let's call it range. Uh, we want to check every possible case. So range length of larger. Range. Length of what? Okay, right. 
Okay. Um, the same is equal to two needs to be part of this for loop. Yeah. The same is equal to two needs to be part of this for loop. So you need to move that into this for loop. Into like this for loop. The, 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 the statement same is equal to two. Yeah. Needs to be part of the 4J in range for loop. Yeah, it is already. No, same is equal to two. Look at same is equal to two. Not if same is equal to two, the, the, the initial oh. value, same is equal to two. Oh. So I delete that. Delete that, and then that has to be, because every time you do a check, you have to reset your flag, right? Okay, so first we say, okay, let's assume that this, we found a match, right? And as you check element by element, if you found that there's no match, then you set the flag to be false, um, and then you will go on to the next uh, possibility. And in the next possibility, uh, before you start checking, you need to reset your flag to be true. You want to assume that everything is true. Okay? Um, okay, so at this point in time, uh, actually now I, I, I think we are not going to use the rest of your code. So uh, for n and smaller, can you actually remove everything of that? Okay, so we are not going to be using the variable y, a, larger index and smaller index also. So we can remove that. The first four lines. Yeah. We don't use those. Yeah. Oh. Uh, it, I think you, you, you accidentally deleted too many characters. There's the, yeah, and the colon. Okay, now, um, so after we've gone through that 4J in range loop, if we still haven't found a match, we are going to return false. So just return false. At the very last. Yeah. yeah. It, go, go back out. One. No, not, not as part of the for loop. Do you need to a uh, bracket for the return? No need. Okay. Okay. So now this code is still gonna be problematic. It's actually gonna give us a index array index out of range error. Um. So it's not quite finished yet. Um. So we need to fix that part. Uh. But actually, before that, you can actually remove the flag. It's going to false statement. We don't. We are not using the flag variable, right? So that's actually not useful. Okay. So, uh, this is still not correct yet. There's still an error in here. Uh, do you know why we will get an array index outbound error? Um, because. Is it because of the SM checker plus one, this one? Uh, sort of, uh, but actually, let me share you my screen and I'll show you why. Okay, so if you take a look back at this really badly drawn thing, what happened is that we are checking for all possible position and this is the last possible position you, you should be checking, right? Okay, yes. but what happens is that because the for loop for J is going to go through the entire list, it's actually going to go and check. It's actually going to guide, go and try to check other elements. This other sub list. Right? And so when it tries to do a check for this other sub list, it's actually going to have an error because it's going to try to access the element beyond the last element of the larger list. Okay, so these are actually, we don't need to do all of this, right? We actually want to stop over here. So we actually want to stop on this location. Okay. 
Oh. Right? Okay. Um, so when, if we go beyond, it's actually going to give us an error. Uh, okay. So can you share your screen again? And um, let's, let's see. Well, actually, let's try running it. Um, in any case, maybe index out of range. Yeah, get an index out of range. Uh, give it one of the, yeah, it's sub list. Give it one of the test. Not the empty list. I think the empty list is a, uh, it's a special case. Uh, let's do the second one. Yeah. Uh, this one won't give us an index or range, I think. Okay. okay. Try the uh, yeah. The first one. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 You you got a. Hmm. That's strange. There should be an index or range. Yeah. Yeah, this will give us true. Expected is true. Is true. There should have been an index or oh, range error. Uh, I'm that is uh weird. Okay, go back to your code. Um let's try to visualize what is happening. Um can you print Ah, okay. I understand what's happening. Okay, uh, okay, okay. I understand why it didn't it didn't have an index or a range error. Uh, but can you try? Um. Okay. Can you can you? Uh, let's see. Yeah. Uh, go back to the console, your Python console, and let me give you a test case that will fail, that will give you an error. Go back to the console. Uh, do a sub list check for uh, the smallest sub list is one tree, and the bigger sub list is let the smaller sub list be one tree. Let the smaller list be elements, and let the larger sub list be one, two, uh, three, one. Let's see, let's run this. There you go. Okay, so now we get an index array out of, uh, list index out of range, uh, index error. Okay, so that's why we need to protect against that. Right? Uh, so go back to your code. So, how do we protect against that? Uh, I, what do you think? How, how do you think we can stop that? Um. We don't want so the problem is is in line six, right? The what? The problem is in line six. Yeah, the problem is in line six because we are trying to access uh, an element beyond the larger list. Right? We are trying to access it. We are trying to do a comparison where the larger list is, uh, with, uh, yeah, where the smaller element extends beyond the larger list towards the bottom part of the that diagram that I showed you. So how do we stop that? We can put like uh, yeah. Wait, let me see. We can add that. Uh, if I equals to length of smaller if i equals to length of smaller yes then then just then just break and then like false or something if i is got to length of smaller not quite that's not quite what's problematic about it hmm let me see. Uh. I'm gonna. Let me see if I can uh, use a different way to show you to visualize this. Give me a moment. 
Okay. Uh, let me share my screen. Okay. So, if you can take a look at my screen, so let's say I have a larger, the largest of this, right? And so that maybe is one, two, three, one, right? Um, and then I have a smaller sublist. And let's say my smaller sublist is one, three, right? So what we want to do is, we want to do this check. Is this equal to this? Is this equal to this? Okay, that's a no. So we want to do the second possibility, which is remove the smaller sublist to the right by one. Oops, sorry. Smaller. You want to do this check? Is this, do they, do they uh, match? They don't match. Okay, they don't match. Then you do the next check, which is, which is do they match? They don't match. And then you do the next check, which is this, okay? And that's where the index out of range error because it's going to try to access this value which doesn't exist, right? Oh, okay. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you actually do the check only for up to this part and you actually don't do this check, right? Right now, uh, your for loop is for J in range length of larger, right? Yes. J in range length of larger is actually going to go, what is the size of uh, the larger? It's four, right? So it's going to do one, two, three, four. And that the fourth one is where it, it's, uh, it gets, uh, where it, 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 it gives you an error. It gives us an error. So this is wrong. You know, we can't, we can't, we shouldn't, we shouldn't um, repeat it the same amount of time as there are elements in the larger list. How many times should we be repeating this check? Um, the amount of times that like, until the end of Y, you should do the check until the um well let me let me let me just show you the, the small check index available is zero there, it's one there, it's two here, it's three here. Right? Uh, so you wanna do it up to until the small check index is two and you don't wanna go beyond that. Yes. Okay. So um, what is that? Like, if I, if I, let's, let's say we give you, let's say we look at a larger, a larger um, list. Let's say the large list has, okay, let's say the large list has uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven elements. Okay, right? And the smaller list has three elements. Yes. How many times do we want, so large list has seven elements and the smaller list has three elements. How many times do we want to check? Mm, two times. Wait, actually, one, one two, three, four, three, four, five. You want to do it five times? Yes, five times. Right? Yeah. Right, so I, if the larger element has seven elements and the smaller list has three elements, you wanna repeat it five times, number of iterations, okay? Let's say the, the larger element has six elements and the smaller element has three elements. How many times do you wanna repeat it? One, two, three, four. 
we want to repeat it four times. Now how do we form an algorithm that calculates this? There is an algorithm that calculates this. Look, look, you can look, uh, you can, let, let me do a few more so that you can get a sense of that algorithm, okay? I'm going to, okay, uh, let's, uh, let me just call this four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So if the larger element has 11 elements, larger list has 11 elements, and the smaller element has three elements, it will be, you want to do it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine times. Do you see a pattern? Can you see a pattern? Um, Not quite. What if I, okay, uh, let's, let's just, Let's, let's give it another, um, okay. let's say you have uh, four elements, okay? Then it will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay? That will be seven times. Let's say you have one element, then you want to do it ten times. Can you see a pattern? Is there a formula that will uh, that will link the number of vibrations with the larger and the smaller? Is it larger minus smaller plus one? Yep, that's right. It's larger minus smaller plus one. Okay, right. So let's go back to your. Can you? Okay, so now the 4J will not be 4J in range length larger, it will be what? In range larger minus smaller plus one. Yep, that's right. Wait, no, 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 not here. This is the long loop. This is the internal check. Uh, you are doing it, yeah, that's it. Okay, so you can't do larger minus smaller plus one like that, because larger is not a number, the lar larger variable is a list. So it will be the length of larger minus length of smaller plus one. Right, do you want to give it a go? Do you want to give it a try? To see whether... Yeah, let's try it on this test case. That's right, right? Can you do it? Uh, can you repeat this test case? Hang on, yeah, run it again, but the larger list, let me change the larger list to one, two, three, one, three. We just want to make sure we catch that corner case. One, two, three, one, three. One, three. Yeah, we want to make sure that we are doing the very last check also. Ah, fantastic, right? There's a catch. Yeah. Okay, good. Now, before we, so I think this program works, but I, there's a way we can actually make it a little bit more elegant. Do you see the small check index variable? Yes. Actually, we don't need that variable because the small check index variable performs it tracks the J variable, right? If you take a look at it, actually you start off with the small check index, is zero. J also starts with zero. And then every time you add small check index by one, J also you add by one because you're going to the next isolation in, in the loop, right? So actually we can get rid of the small check index variable and replace it with J. So that delete this line, completely delete the line. Yeah, and then inside the loop, that is replaced by J. And then the small check index at the end, that one can also be deleted. Okay, so I think this is a solution. 
uh, do you want to try running this again and just making, oh, actually, do you want to submit this? And then yes. submit run on the test cases and we can check whether it works on all the test cases. <laughs> you know that feeling where you pass all the test cases, that's really, really a, a great feeling. Yeah. Okay. So I, this, this problem is actually a little bit hard. Um, and just to recap, like when we first started off, I also didn't know where we were going. But I think as we write the code slowly, we try something out and you go like, yeah, we're almost, we, it's getting closer, it's getting closer, it's getting closer. Um, as we try out different things, as long as you're able to follow along what your code is doing, uh, eventually you're going to be able to figure it out. 